Hello, my name is Sam. I'm currently enrolled in Biology 182, and I'm going to be doing a presentation on stoneflies in, in New Zealand losing their wings to evolution. So the New York Times actually published an article about this titled, When Insects Lost Their Homes, Evolution Clipped Their Wings. It begins with an explanation of New Zealand South Island where the Maori people settled there 750 years ago. It briefly describes the experiment and the methods of collecting the stoneflies, which included um, walking up through the forest onto the bald crest of the mountains, as is quoted by the article. It explains the differences between the two phenotypes of the stoneflies, which are the wingless and the winged, and concludes with the researchers looking further into the genetics of the stonefly. Now, the scientific article, which was published by Royal Society Publishing, is titled Anthropogenic Evolution in the Insect Wing Polymorphism Following Widespread Deforestation. It, in, it begins the introduction by describing how deforestation is a human-driven change with effects that aren't as well understood as pollution, overfishing, and urbanization. It also describes how the Maori people set out onto New Zealand 750 years ago and explains that wind exposure and flightlessness is strongly supported because if you're an insect with wings, it's more dangerous to have that because you're more likely to be pushed or blown in, blown aside from a strong wind. And the hypothesis of the study is directly taken from the article. If phenotype frequencies were not affected by recent deforestation, transitions to flight loss were expected to occur at a consistent elevation. Now for the methods and materials, there are four sections and I condense them all down. For the study system, adult stoneflies were tested on as well as late instar nymphs. And the nymphs were basically added on as more data points as um, you're able to see whether they have wings or have a lack of wings. Uh, transect sampling that was done with tests to see how big the population was, if it was substantial enough for the study to test, and places with evidence to polymorphism. Three deforested sites and two undisturbed sites were chosen for the study. Phenotype classification, which included flight tests for the adults and the nymphs to find variation of wing length and date analysis, data analysis, where the data was compared to elevation at sea level and elevation relative to the position of the tree line in a clinal model. Now for the results of this study, it showed higher evidence of stoneflies being flightless when measuring areas using tree line position than measuring areas using a sea level elevation. So that means you'll, consist, you'll find more consistently um, flightless stoneflies outside of forested areas rather than seeing a direct pattern of flightlessness going up in sea level elevation or going down in sea level elevation. Now, what was similar and what was different about these two articles? Um, the news article actually reported everything that was important from the scientific article and even mentioned something that I didn't notice on the first round, which was the peppered moth. It was used as an example of evolution based on a human change, which was um, pollution from coal factories that was darkening the forest around them, which caused the pepper moth to um, evolve into a darker phenotype. And it both concluded with genetic testing being, hopefully being used in the future to discover if this was a, a change caused by human deforestation. For the differences, the news article had interviews with the scientists. So there was more of a personal connection. There was a mention of Charles Darwin, possibly to have the reader connected to something that they already know. The methods and materials was largely excluded. Um, it did mention like going through the forest and collecting the stoneflies, but that was just it. And it excluded the nymphs, the mention of nymphs and the names of the stonefly populations 
which were um, Borland, Lug, Six Mile, Twin, and Whiskey. Of these five, the Borland, Lug, and Six Mile had evidence showing that they have evolved from their own. And for Twin and Whiskey, those two are shown to have evidence from evolving from human deforestation. These are the works cited for the photos. And this is the work cited for the news story and the scientific article. And I thank you so much for watching this video.